Hello, John from Bang & Olsen in Manchester, back with the new Beerplay H4 second generation. So let's see what's changed, what hasn't, and what's going on. Get out. Let's just crack on. So first of all, we need the box shot. The usual B&O branding with a nice photo on the front of the colour that lies inside. Now, I know you all love the little mission statement from the marketing bods as much as I do, but Jenny's not here to read it. The beauty of sound and a minimalistic expression, a timeless experience made to last. So, in a nutshell, Beoplay H4 second generation are wireless over-ear headphones from Bang & Olsen and the successor to Beoplay H4. At a glance, they have 660 milliamp hour lithium ion battery that gives up to 19 hours of wireless playtime, with a charge time of approximately two and a half hours from empty. They weigh just 244 grams, making them very light and comfortable, but still having the reassuring Bang & Olsen feel when it comes to build quality. They use Bluetooth 4.2. <sighs> yes, I know it's not Bluetooth 5. I don't know why. Don't get mad at me. I didn't design them. I, I kind of wish they were Bluetooth 5. I don't know why they're not, but I suppose if it ain't broke, don't fix it. They will, however, remember eight paired devices for easy connection to all of your stuff and they support the usual dual device connectivity. You have APTX LL, CVC, AAC and SBC sound codecs, so there should be no lip sync issues while you're watching video content. Other improvements include the addition of a second digital microphone that's angled and distanced to improve call quality. The micro USB of old has thankfully been replaced with glorious USB type C. The buttons for volume, play, pause and track skipping could be a bit fiddly on the original H4 so they've now been replaced with more pronounced chunkier buttons that are easier to feel with your fingertips. The on off and pairing is now much more intuitive with a slider switch just like the lovely range topping Beoplay H9. The build quality is also now more in line with the H9 thanks to more sturdy casing it and the exposed cable of the original H4 has been shortened and rerouted to make it tidier and less likely to get snagged on anything. The aluminium discs are now different and I absolutely love the new look. They have a matte finish with oh, a chamfered edge. Who doesn't love a chamfered edge? The B&O logo has now been centred rather than being offset. Just like Beoplay H9, there is now Google Assistant built in. You don't have to use it, but it's there should you want to, and it's surprisingly useful in headphones to control your music, your smart devices at home, you can make calls, reply to messages, or just ask Google about the weather, or any other nonsense that comes into your head. You don't need to say, um, I don't want to set everybody's off, but she can't read. You just press the dedicated button and say your command. Very slick. In the box you get a USB-A to C cable for charging and a 3.5mm jack cable for plugging in a non-Bluetooth source. Or if you just run out of headphone battery. One thing I will mention is there's no soft pouch to store your headphones in included in the box. I get that money's been spent wisely on improvements but come on b and I love you but a pouch would have been nice. What about the sound and comfort? I don't think I gave them enough credit last time around. Granted, there have been many software updates since the original H4 which have undoubtedly improved the sound quality, but I've been very impressed over the last few days listening. I've listened to dance, electronic music, classical, a little bit of jazz, and of course my favourite, rock. They deal with everything pretty well, my favourites are still H9, although it's a bit of an unfair comparison given the price difference. I've been comparing them back and forth, but for out and out pure faithful detail to the recording, H9 is still the champion. But for sheer entertainment, the H4 second gen are right up there. They're slightly boosted in the lower and top end, and compared to H9 this makes them great fun to listen to. They seem to lap up anything you throw at them. Even lower quality streaming and MP3 sounded reasonable. The cushions are super squidgy and thanks to the lightweight they're extremely comfortable over long periods of time. The big ear cups encapsulate your whole ear and I wear glasses most of the time and I had no issue with them pressing my specs into the side of my head. 
As far as I can tell, there are no significant sound improvement over the original H4, providing your software is up to date, of course. But the design and technical changes are most welcome, in my opinion, and make the H4 second generation a must listen if you're in the market for nice over ear cans around the £250 mark. Put, put your headphones on. Why do I get this colour? I wanted the black. I like the limestone, but they're not me. Mm, whatever, put them on. Better? Mm. So, the end of the video. I can't do that, I'm shouting. The end of the video, that's I it. Shut up. <laughs> Take them off. What? What are them? End of the video, H4 second gen. I'm mightily impressed. Can't hear you. What do you think? Oh. Yeah, they're very good. Good, aren't they? Yeah. I, I, I owned a pair of the original ones and uh, I like the original ones, but... The original just... ones are right, yeah. These are, the, that's the, the quality's got better, I like the finish better, the Google Assistant's good, micro, uh, sorry, the USB-C is better, uh, the slidey switch like the H9 is better, the button's better, the cushioning's about the same, to be honest, but they are more comfortable, these seem more squidgy to me. Lovely word, squidgy. You're squidgy. Mm. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean... Who knew that Google Assistant and headphones would be really cool? And then, yeah, when, I, when I first did it on H9, I was like, what? On headphones? Why? But when it. you use it, yeah, it's actually pretty cool. And you don't have to say... Google. Mm, mm, couldn't mm. just set everyone's up. You just press the button and say, play my workout playlist. It, it, it's very good. Yeah. I, I'm glad to say. It's, um, they've taken a, a good product and made it better. Yeah. Improved. Thumbs up from us. So you'll see me. I don't believe you're in this again. Yeah, well. But you'll see me in the next video. Won't see me. No, damn right you won't. Bye. What is the next video, by the way? The next video soon. Oh. Whatever excited. it might be. I'm, I'm excited already. Whew. I've got another new product to show you. I know it's a little bit late, but here it is. It's the new.